Hello, everybody. I thought I'd show you where I am with my um, my collections that are go that go into my traveler's notebook. I know I showed you before how I decorated some of the covers and what I was going to be putting in each collection, but I've added to them, so I thought I'd show you. This one is new, and this one I will not be keeping my traveler's notebook, though it can travel with me if I needed to, and it may when I'm going grocery shopping. But mostly it's going to stay at home, and this is for the month of June. The month of July, I have a planner that I'm going to be using for my fitness and health and everything, but it doesn't start till July 1. So for the month of June, I picked up this inexpensive little insert from um, Michael's. They've got new traveler's notebook items. So I picked this up, and I just took a stencil and some distress ink and decorated it and put a few stickers from the Mambi um, fitness pack on here. So let me show you. I love this. I have this little card that I painted and um, it says light as a feather. So <laughs> that just cracked me up. I put that up there. Um, this is another sticky for, sticker from Mambi. Um, these are my healthy life goals right now. Convert to plant-based eating. And I'm already working on that. That's going really well. Um, I have a cousin who um, has Meals by Missy on Facebook. So if you want to go there on Facebook, look up Meals by Missy. She does uh, meal plans and things. She also, if people are local, which I'm not to her, she has um, casseroles and foods and healthy eating that she sells to people. But um, I just bought her plant-based meal plan and it's working out really well. So convert to plant-based meal plan. Number two, regain my BC before cancer level of physical fitness. That is going to be the hardest thing for me because before I used to work out four and five days a week. I weighed 125 pounds. I had abs. Um, but I don't know that I'm, you know, that was five years ago now, five and a half years ago, almost No, five years in May this month. So it was five years ago now. And, um, it's hard. It's hard to get started again. It's hard to get back in that mind frame. It's just hard. If anybody's fallen off the wagon and wants to get back on again, they know I, it almost seems harder now than it did to get fit the first time. I want to weigh 130 pounds by the end of this year. And I need to start getting eight hours of sleep a night. I know that helps with all of this other stuff. And I really need to do it. And I, I've just been bad about it. Really bad about it. Okay. So let me show you what I have here. This, and I don't have it in here because um, I, I guess I'm not keeping it that real. But I have a picture here of when I went to go see my son for boot camp. And I looked at that picture and went, oh, oh my gosh. I look horrible. I felt bad. I, it just. Anyway, I wanted to really feel good that day, and I didn't. So anyway, that picture is going to go here, and then hopefully there'll be a picture that goes here. <laughs> it might just be at the end of this month since I'm moving on to that other planner, so it might not be a big gap. But here's what I weigh now, and here's what I want to weigh. And I just put little boxes so I can color them in as I make it down. So that's a 10-pound goal, 20-pound goal. It says, just show up. There's this little sticker says goal. These are all from that Mambi fitness pack. And this one says, drop that cupcake. That was too cute. Don't give up and get fit. So then I have the food section. And I just put these little tabs I found at Walmart, I think. Anyway, here's the food section. This was my week one menu on my week one grocery list. So I, pull, I took this into the store with me. And this is what Missy sent me this. And I've been sticking to it, doing pretty well. This morning, I just had a banana because I woke up late and I was in a hurry. And that's not what I should have done, but that's what I did. So the food will go in here each week for the month. And then this is my exercise section. And I don't have anything in here yet. June 1st is tomorrow, so I better get on the ball tonight, huh? Um, I have company next week, so this, I don't know. I may plan just walking next week, and hopefully one or two of them will go with me to the track. Now that school's out, I can hit that track here in town. But this is going to be a log of what I exercise, and hopefully the plan, and then checking off that I stuck to the plan. So there's my exercise sheets. I just colored pink around the edges just because it makes me happy. No, no other reason. <laughs> okay, so there's that. This is for my paper crafts and planners and fun stampers journey business, but I market myself as paper crafts and planners. I don't market myself as Deidre fun stampers journey coach because you know, my YouTube and my blog, there's other things on there. It's not just all about that. My Instagram. So, um, my Facebook. So anyway, this notebook though is keeping track of all of that stuff. So it has a table of contents and my goals. 
these aren't all my goals, but these are my um, social media goals. And actually a few of these I have already met. Um, I want to have 500 subs on this channel on YouTube by the end of June. And right now I have 401, something like that. I had 403 and I dropped two. Wow. <laughs> anyway, and this is what I wanted by the end of the month, by the end of the year. Okay, next tab is kind of a schedule that I want to stick to. Monday a.m. p.m., Tuesday a.m. p.m., things I want to do. And the a.m. is when I do most of my work. And the p.m., I just want to make sure I post to social media and share everything I've done. Um, and that and my videos go live usually at 5 p.m. is when I have them go live. Okay, so that's a schedule that I want to stick to. This is great idea. So as things come up or occur to me, I have a place to jot those down. Um, this next one is statistics, and I'll be starting this June 1st. I'm not good about keeping up with my statistics. Every once in a while I look and go, oh, I gained a couple on Instagram, or oh, I dropped a couple here, you know. But I really want to keep track of all this and see the growth that I'm doing or not. And, you know, maybe week one I didn't post very many videos, and so I didn't gain any subs. And so that's kind of nice to keep track of and know that when you do work harder, it pays off, hopefully. And then this is expenses. I have to go back and start at the beginning of the year. I've been keeping everything, all of my receipts, but to keep, to just have this down here to see, that's great. And then I'm going to, these are the things I need to buy. And some of these I can check off now. I need to buy for videos and things. So it's really cool. And my income, I need to do a sheet for income too, which is not much right now. I'm really not making anything off Fun Stampers Journey yet. I, I'm brand new. And my YouTube, um, as you know, unless you have a whole lot of subs, you're not making money off YouTube. Um, I think last month was $2.45 went into my PayPal. So, <laughs> But it's a work in progress. These things you have to stick to and you have to keep plugging along. And that's the way it works. So there you go. And if, if you plug along for a year and you didn't make a lot of progress, well, guess what? You have a nice tax write-off. There you go. Okay, this is my home um, insert that goes in my traveler's notebook. And I have schedules, to-dos by room, um, sizes and colors and things in each room, good ideas, inventories, master to-do list. So let me show you. This is my daily cleaning. This is my weekly and this is monthly things that I focus on. So June is my porch and my outside areas. So I really need to focus on those in June. Um, in May, I did the 28 day challenge and I'm still working through the bathroom on that because it took a week off in May when I had um, my husband home. And then July, my foyer and closet. And so there's just a different focus, a different room I'm focusing on each month, okay? And then this I saw on Pinterest and I thought, oh, that's brilliant. So it's when did I last change my AC filter, flea treat the cat, print pictures. I need to print pictures and have them ready to go for my uh, memory planning and scrapbooking and things like that. And I'm really bad about that, getting them off of my phone and getting them off my computer. So anyway, you get my oil changed, which that needs to be done. Clean my oven. Those are things that just slip my mind if I'm not paying attention. Okay. Um, and this is the to-do list by room I like things that I need like I need an area rug in the living room I need some new placemats and a centerpiece for the dining room table things like that the laundry the walls need to be painted you know things like that and it's by area okay um, this next one is master to-do list and I haven't I've been putting them on the by room so I don't know if this is going to get used very much but we'll see it might and then these are the measurements, which I still need to do. Is that washi tape not so cute? Oh, so cute. A little measuring tape, and I don't know where I got it. But um, anyway, so I need to still do these measurements. Then I want to have a section for the wall colors and things. Okay. And then number five is great ideas again. And number six is my inventory. And it says fridge um, for here. And then I'll be doing um, my pantry and probably my freezer. There are certain... This is not everything that's in my refrigerator, and it's not going to be everything that's in my pantry or everything that's in my freezer, but these are the things that I always want to have on hand. Like, I'm out of hummus. I always want to have hummus in the fridge. It's a great snack with veggies and hummus. I love it. So I always want to have barbecue sauce. Um, oh, and I don't have Italian dressing down here. I always want to have Italian dressing and barbecue sauce because those are my husband's when he's home. 
and he pulls out a big slab of something out of the deep freeze, um, a brisket or something. He wants those two things. He mostly wants the Italian dressing. And so they need to be there. Um, milk for my nephew, eggs for my nephew and husband when he's home. And then the almond or cashew milk is for me. So anyway, these are just things I always want to have in um, my fridge. So, and the same thing will happen with the pantry. Canned veggies, um, extras of certain items we use a lot need to be in the pantry and I want to make sure that I have those and then same thing with the freezer I want to if there's meat on sale I want to have it in there I want to know like I can look back okay in June that brisket was there it is August that brisket's still there we need to cook that brisket um, I'm not eating meat right now which always disappoints my husband because that's his favorite thing to do when he's home is to cook out so and the rest of the family loves it though so they'll still eat it so these are some of my um, inserts that I'm really loving and that I'm going to be using. And so if you've never done a traveler's notebook or made any inserts, I really encourage it. It's a lot of fun and it's a lot, it's, it's a little bit of work, not a lot, a little bit of work, but then once you have it, you have this information with you all the time. And it's just a great thing. Thank you so much for watching everybody and happy planning.